Hello, my wonderful people, my friends and subscribers all over the world. This is your good daily talk. I'm back here once again with another blog poster. I just want to give a quick one at that because I don't want to keep my fans waiting or my viewers and subscribers, those ones who are expecting to hear a very light and uh, mouth watering news that will gladden their heart. I have come with another one. This one will make you not even gladden your heart, it will make you to begin to reason. Where do we get this kind of present from? Uh, uh, there, there's an idea that always says uh, that charity begins at home. But it seems that that uh, charity don't run away from home. Now charity begins from outside. Look at this headline before I continue what I want to say. Buhari pledges support for Burundi on fuel shortage amid scarcity in Nigeria. Could you imagine that your president is promising another country's president, that is the president of Burundi, of support on fuel, <laughs> of fuel whereby Nigerians are, are, are being in queue. Some, some, some motorists have even been in queue for days. Some even spend the queue, the, their Christmas and, the, and the, uh, uh, New Year Eve in queue where they are waiting for gasoline. But here you are. Well, we are not surprised. After all, we are talking about we don't have roads, we don't have a, 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 a rail line that is working in the eastern part of the country that can set. Yes, most of we have a single one. But uh, he built a rail from uh, uh, Nigeria here, at the Ada Kanu or this thing, or Kasena, to Maradi, Nigel. So this is not a surprise. So without not taking much of a time, if you're wondering who is on the line, I still remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk, bringing to us this very broadcast. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified this time we go live or post something new on this channel or any other channel related to Okute Daily Talk. So let us go straight into the business of the day. Starting our news with the, our elbow boo boo and the fracas. Because everywhere is on fire. Obedience, you both should gather as we finish this news of uh, uh, our Bubu to Burundi. Then the next news should be how the whole countries, eh, people who have vowed that uh, the, the, the Igbos or anybody from Igbo extraction can never be present of the country. Everywhere is on fire. Both the South East, the South South, the North West, North Central and North East. They are, they, are, they are even calling me on phone. What did I think about this thing? Eh? Why must they, why must Obasanjo in those is a uh, P2B? Why? 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 What? They keep asking why? Why? And my answer to them is that why have a long leg without and the two branches? So after why, what do you get? You get Z. So that is my answer to them. If you have any other answer, please drop it at the comment section. Why we proceed with the news of our boo boo. That is pledging support for another countries in times of fuel scarcity. Buhari pledges support for Burundi on fuel shortage and mail scarcity in Nigeria. President Muhammad Buhari has shown that Nigeria will support the public of Burundi in diverse ways as necessary in the spirit of African solidarity and brotherliness. The President gave the, the assurance Tuesday at State House Abuja while receiving the special envoy of President Evariste Ndayishimeye who came with a message. What message is that? We are here, we are, we are here to, 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 to get the, the, to the root of that message. On request for assistance in the area of energy provision, particularly fueled by the Burundi leader, President Buhari said, you know that it feels like uh, uh, what it feels like for a country to suffer from energy shortage and promise that he would get the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to look into the request of supplying fuel to them. <laughs> Why the people in Nigeria don't have fuel? And all you producing country of that that have all your wells here and there, yet. Just like uh, 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 I say, Ume is Ada Atahafia. But in this kind of uh, uh, in this uh, uh, case, my dear, Ume is Ata Atahafia, or even Ata Atahafia, Tama Grassroot, Tama Ataproot, Tama Branches. Eh? That is uh, what we are in Nigeria. The people who are producing oil, they are lacking fuels. While all pip countries who don't even have any single mineral resources have fuel in abundance. 
the people who are producing fuel uh, can sell fuel as higher as 300 even 400 naira per liter whereby people who don't have fuel buys fuel for 150 naira per liter what a word the corruption in nigeria have eaten deep and no one is going to stop it that is what i'm saying not now and not ever unless all these evil men and women all these psychophants all these never do where politicians you bring them into one house and light up light everybody up let them let them just say bye bye to this edge that is the only way you can you can you can you can control the 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 the, the, the corruption that have eaten deep into the system of nigeria because most of the people staying there they are not even the one that started it their parents started it and uh, along the line when their parents is getting aged he will need he will get them to the system and the thing keep on going most of them they are, they, they, their parents started it they entered it now they are already putting their children into it when you ask they will tell you there is no vacancy while all the whole vacants have been reserved for never do well of their children that studying abroad if you send your children to study abroad, why can't they look for work abroad there and do? Since the schools in Nigeria is not capable of giving them the, the degree or whatever they want. Most of them went out there just to live life, to a extravagant lifestyle with the money that is coming from the oil and the rest of them in Nigeria. And when they finish all the Araban course, they will come back here and occupy one position without even knowing what that position states. That is the problem we have in Nigeria. Let us proceed. Burundi's request is coming at a period Nigeria is battling for scarcity. We started in December of 2022. While the situation is gradually improving, many filling stations are selling above the pump price. The president, in a statement issued by his, his, his spokesman, Femi Adesena, said he was looking forward to the pools and the retirement. Said since he has satisfied the constitutionally required two terms to be in office. Okay, you are just there for those constitutionally required two terms in office. That is why you are there. You are not even there to solve the masses. You are not even there to solve the problem in which you used to campaign to us coming 2015, when you promised us one naira to one dollar. Now, one dollar is equivalent to one uh, uh, one thousand naira. Uh, what a word. You just made the statement, just like the confessional statement you made the other day. That uh, you have done your best, but your best is not enough for the country. Why can can there be enough? You want to govern a country that is even bigger, bigger, bigger than than what you can think of, that even bigger than your, than, than your imagination. You govern the country maybe when we are either 84, 85 million people. See, yet you don't even do anything because of your 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 sluggish lifestyle and the rest of them. You are overthrown in nineteen seventy six and the rest, I mean nineteen seventy nine and the rest of them. Can you imagine that? You still come back again with that same lifestyle, and that is where we have, uh, have kept us where we are. I'll be where we, where we, where we are where we are today. Chai, Otibanjo, you will live long. For this, your English, eh? I thank you every time I, I, I remember you. On uh, Alders, in Yenzima, Minister of Finance, Budget and Economic Planning of Burundi, said his president sent goodwill for the New Year to the Nigerians and President Buhari and also wishes the country well in general elections scheduled for February and March of this year. We pray that the pools will be peaceful and successful so that Nigeria will maintain her reputation as a bastion of peace and stability, the special envoy from the Burundi says. So that is all you need to hear about this very particular um, news. Let us go to the main news of the day. Edda Clark has, uh, finally endorses P2B just like uh, uh, Tunumbu did. And people were kind of, wow, what is happening? And everywhere, there's no any topic again. Nobody is doing any campaign again. Everybody is focusing on uh, uh, P2B and uh, Obasanjo's endorsement. P2B and Obasanjo's endorsement. Eh? Uh, and uh, Banjo in those is P2B, but the judge in those is P2B, even uh, Baba Kalawa in those is P2B, nobody's talking about that. Everybody attention now have come up from P2B now. It's about Sanjo that they want to uh, they want to eat, eat him raw. What is happening to this country? 
Does it mean that nobody has a freedom of speech again? All of you that are saying this, you are, you are in one way or the other endorses your own uh, presidential candidate. So what is wrong there if your person came out and said, this is my own presidential candidate whom I trust in, whom I know that will deliver this country. And you people are there making some silly, silly noise and uh, the rest of them. Please, my dear people, do not mind my language. Let us proceed. South, South leader, Clark endorses Peter Obi. Ex-Federal Commissioner for Information and South South Leader Chief Edwin Clark on Tuesday endorsed the presidential candidate of Labour Party. Peter will be for the forthcoming poll. Clark, who addressed journalists at his Asokoro residence, Abuja, declared that with the former Anambra State Governor as President of Nigeria, the country will be more united. According to him, one who must be the next president of the country must be educated and experienced, certain that South East should be allowed to produce the next president of this country. He insisted that the zone has resourceful and educated people who can govern the country well and make it to flourish and make the country out from where the dungeon that the APC and the past administration have brought us in. Three Boko Haram commanders, 27 others killed during airstrikes in Brunei State. The Nigerian Air Force has killed three Boko Haram commanders and 27 other terrorists in fresh airstrikes in Brunei. All this, they are audio killing. I keep saying it and I keep repeating myself. All this, they are audio killings. Made them take a museum. Mm -hmm. Okute News gathered that the insurgents were killed during an area bombardment of uh, four of their camps located in uh, Bulaja Jitoi, Halakai, Kojoye, Halakai, Alai, and uh, Bulamaye in the Bama local government area of Bruno State. According to a counter insurgence expert in the Lecture region, Zagazola Makama, the operation was conducted on Sunday, January 1, around the Sambisa forest area. He said the coordinator, okay, the, the coordinated joint air and ground offensive by the Nigerian military came barely hours after Boko Haram fighters and the Islamic State West African province had deadly clashes. So after they killed yourself, you also went there to claim the victory. Abi. We understand. Continue. Makama quoted is, uh, uh, a source as saying, now, one of the commanders killed in the airstrike on slot on a Bula Jito is popularly called Captain Captain or Doctor. According to the source, the two other commanders were said to have been killed in Halaka, Kujuyo, and Halaka, alive. The source quoted by Makama said one of the trolleys was heard in an inter intercepted communication saying, We are killing the Ishwab and seizing all their weapons. But our major problem is that the Jets are killing us too. Is that, is that so? Where is, the food, where is the video footage and the rest of them for we to agree on these things you people are saying? On January 1 of 2022, we lost about 30 fighters, including three of our commanders. Even Doctor was killed in the airstrike. We want to fight them, but we are afraid of the Jets. The source was quoted as saying, In two, in a two minute, 50 second video seen by Makama. Boko Haram fighters on motorbikes were burning uh, marked ship houses and vehicles, killing members of Ishwa group in their current uh, 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 misunderstanding and crash. Let us move straight into the another business of the day. Sulude so condemns short in court related killings, guarantees apprehension of perpetrators. When are you going to achieve that? Is it when your tenure of finish? Because this is uh, your first tenure of uh, four years. If you finish it, I'm not very sure that you are going back for the second time because you have failed the Anambar Anambarians. The Anambra State Board, uh, Governor Tuku Masoludo has condemned the recent sword in court related killings in some parts of the state. The governor was uh, reacted to the killing of the President General of the Bosi community, Ike Okolo, by yet to be identified as land in his car in the Obosi community on Monday. According to him, it was rather unfortunate that despite the people having enjoyable festivities, the killings of people in some local governments of the state were mindless, 
moved by groups of various courts. Okute News report that Soludo in a statement issued by his press secretary, Christian Aburime, on Tuesday assured that even if the group of courtes are moved out of the communities, the perpetrators will be brought to book. We are waiting for that. It was gathered that during the celebration of the festive period in Oka, one man was shot dead on January 2 and in Inifite. About two persons were also said to have been gone down by unknown assailants. Where are the security operatives and where are the vigilantes? Another four men sitting in a compound of their host on the New Year's Day in Nodu Opono community were reported to have also been shot dead by suspected courtes. Reacting to all the indiscriminate killings, Aborima submitted that the state governor, Chukuma Soludo, has condemned the court related war among rival groups and subsequent killings in Obosi and Okpono in the Demini North and Oka South local government area of the state, respectively. Soludo condemns these mindless killings in the strongest terms and has assured that the perpetrators will be apprehended and decisively dealt with, even if they have run out of the town. He said that they will be hunted down to face the full wrath of the law. Monday used to be observed as sit at home, witnessed massive outdoor activities as the state bubbled with activities all over the state. Soludo further reassured that the court gangs that fought today will surely be tracked down and dealt with decisively in accordance with the rule of the law that is guiding every individual in that state. We are moving forward to the next news of this afternoon. Another news on the line here is uh, about the speaker, I be the spokesperson of uh, all progressive congress named the Mumu Festus Kiyamo, the, the, the fake sign that we have in Nigeria. He said, Kiyamo reacts as Edwin Clark in those days to be to succeed Buhari. The spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress, Presidential Campaign Council, Fesut Kiyamo, has reacted to the endorsement of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi by former federal by former Federal Commissioner for Information and South South leader Edwin Clark. Okute News earlier reported that Clark declared his support for the former governor of Anambra State on Tuesday, January 3 of 2023. He made a declaration while addressing journalists at his Asokuru residence in Abuja today. According to him, Ubi will unite and restructure the country when given the opportunity. He further that uh, one who must be next president of the country must be educated and experienced. Just as he said that Southeast should be allowed to produce the next president because the zone has resourced and educated people to govern the country, according to Edwin Clark. Reacting via his Twitter page, Fesus Kiyamo opinions that the endorsement has no effect on APC, considering Clark has never supported APC for the presidency since 2015. According to him, the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate is the most affected because his 2019 votes will be given to P2B. He wrote, Same thing I said for OBJ that applies to my respected father. Edwin Clark, these are elders who endorsed Atiku Abubakar in 2019. The votes they gave Atiku in 2019, they have carried those votes to Obi. My father, Edwin Clark, has never supported APC for the presidency since 2015, according to Festus, the fake son, Kiyamu. Again, Buhari's head mocks Obasanjo over Peter Obi's endorsement. They're gonna look at the person where they mock somebody. This one, no look, look what do you look like? Uh, you look like, uh, I think, I think a woman. If they mock somebody, they're just supposed to go and wear, uh, 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 what do they call it? Stones, around, tie it around your waist so that breeze will not blow you away. Look at this man, look at how you look like. Open all the whole your money, one at the chop. Child, this man says he's very sick. Presidential head Basha Ahmed has again mocked former President Tolusegun Obasanjo 
over his endorsement of the uh, Labour Party presidential candidate P. Tobi. The special assistant on digital communications to President Muhammad Buhari said the former president who can produce a councillor is busy in endorsing a presidential candidate. Ahmed described the endorsement of the former Anambra state governor as hilarious, adding that Nigerians will be voting for all progressive congress APC flag bearer Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. He added that Obasanjo endorsed the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atika Abubakar, in 2019 and still lost to President Buhari. He wrote, someone that can't that can produce a councillor is busy endorsing a presidential candidate. Hilarious, Asuwajo is the candidate Nigerians will be voting for in February of, two, of this year. Not a long time, okay, not a long time for the 2019 election. Chief OBJ endorsed and supported the PDP candidate and wrote several letters against President Buhari. See the result from OBJ's Ward 11, Unit 22, Olu, Olu Somis Compound of Abiyokuta North Local Government Area, APC 87 votes, PDP 18 votes. We are not bothered. Recall that Obasanjo had endorsed OB in an open letter to Nigerians use on the New Year's days and all them to vote for Labour uh, Labour Party standard Biara according to what they said. So my good people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the lovers of mankind, as I said earlier, this uh, uh, broadcast is just a quick one. I don't want to take much of your time, neither do I want to take much of mine because uh, they say time is money and uh, we have to use our time judiciously at least this 2023 so that we are going to make the best out of it. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that as soon as possible. Make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified each time we post something new or we go live on this channel or any other channel that is related to Kute Daily Talk. Just as I keep saying and I keep lamenting, please, if this is your first time of hearing my voice, endeavor to subscribe and share my content. And uh, for those of us who are always uh, find one way or the other to insult in the comment section please be civilized and also act matured uh -huh. you cannot be uh obi, obi can never remain a boy forever there's a time that obi needs to also grow to become a man so you have got to that stage if you can handle a smartphone that means you are no more obi you have to answer uh, a man not a boy so you have to uh, uh, mind your language and mind your utterances or whatever or how you uh, uh, said things well, because uh, everything can forget but internet never forget that is why it is very very necessary we know what we talk at every point in time because the one in according to our Igbo dialect so my people i am signing out and i come your way again i see the men okute daily talk please don't forget to share this uh, message make it let it go viral let people who supported who is in support of a labor party and who in support of uh, the endorsement of uh, uh, al uh, uh OBJ, Abi Chief OBJ, or whatever we choose to call him, retired uh, Major OBJ, let them know that they have officially endorsed Peter OB to take over the mantle from the embattled APC uh, presidential who is leading us astray at this point in time. Please do not mind my language. That is how I choose to address him. But whichever way, he have done his best, which have already given us a confessional statement, that he tried his best, but his best was not enough. It was not good enough for the country. Telling us, you people, to please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I have failed you people. That's exactly what it means. Uh -huh. From my own understanding, I don't know about you. But that is exactly what it means. So, my good people of Biafra, lovers of freedom and lovers of mankind, see you when you see me make sure you keep praying and also pray for mazi nam the canoe anytime any day so that he will be free from the hand holding him but now it is no more uh, the issue of a uh, uh, court or whatever this is the issue of spirituality so let us all go into spiritual to fight this thing and to make sure that we are or we come out victorious at the end of the, the day have a nice day and bless you all the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Remain blessed. Amen. I am signing out.
Bye for now.